Hi everybody, today we're gonna learn how does it feel untitled from D'Angelo. First let's see the melody. Uh, the melody you can hear on the chorus. Uh, so it starts like this uh, with this finger. You play the box 7 on the B string and then just beside the box 8 you switch string and uh, uh, to play the, the box 5 of the E string. And then it's the E. You can play it there or there. Box 5, B string. So Uh, so the next part is uh, uh, it's uh, box seven with the uh, ring finger, box five, box three. All those uh, those notes played on the B string to finish on the uh, G string, box three. It's a B flat. So uh, we have. This is the first part of the melody. The second part of the melody uh, start the same, starts the same way, but you uh, now you play the uh, B on the E string with your ring finger, and you finish on the on the A. And then the last part is so um, uh, box eight B string, box seven, box five, and then you switch string and uh, you finish playing the notes three again uh, box three string E. This has its importance, you will see why. So, the complete uh, melody is... Now you can add uh, chords to this melody. Uh, actually, you have to add uh, chords to this melody. Um, there are four chords uh, for the, the chorus, which are A minor 7, very common way, a G8 9 that you can find on every brace you take. Um, uh, it, uh, you can play it like uh, with uh, this finger on the box 3 of the E string and this finger box 2 of the G finger and you have to play the B because the B is the third of the G. Uh, next chord is a C7. In the first time I only play the C, the E, and the B flats. It's enough. And then in the, the, the second parts of the bar, I play I play it that way. So you play at the uh, box uh, five of the D string, box 3 G string, box 5 B string, and box 5 E string. And then I finish with a D, but it's not, obviously you can see that it's not a complete D, it's only the D and the third. The 
F sharp. So you can play it that way. Um, and the second part of the melody added to the chords, uh, you can play it like this. We have to play these notes, it's a B, and play an A minor 7. So we won't be able to uh, play the A minor 7 that way as we just played, we used to play before. So uh, we will have to play the a minor 7 like this with the A there and just block all the box 5 so uh, now we can find the B here with the ring finger like this it's an A minor 7 9 I play it with this finger. And now you can finish your melody. That melody leads to the C7, but in a, in a very common uh, way. Uh, the, the form that uh, we know, it's a very well known form. And you finish with your D. You can uh, you can find your uh, um, your own uh, your own intervention uh, the, the notes uh, you will uh, you will play just between the the melody when you have the time. Uh, by example, I play that. It's between the A minor seven and the G at nine. If you like it, I can explain you. It's uh, uh, so you just have to take the D string and the G string together. Then you have the box two with this finger. You play another hand with the ring finger on box four, and another hand with this finger box four, but G string. And you finish playing your G. Let's see now the verse. Um, if you haven't uh, noticed it yet, uh, it's a 6 8. I mean, you can play the chords like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, uh, to play the verse, uh, my advice is um, just play the chords, no, don't play in the melody. It's not necessary, because you have to make a difference between the chorus and the verse. So, um, you have to play the, the whole parts, A minor 7, G at 9, C7 and D twice, completely. Da -da 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 -da. So now um, we arrive uh, at the pre-chorus, pre it's the part between the verse and the chorus. So it starts with an A minor 7, 6 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, your G at 9, but you play it 3 times, 1, 2, 3, and there you have to play a bass melody the bass line. Um, uh, it starts. It starts on the G. So you have to count one, two, three, four, five, six, one. And now you uh, the that melody leads to a F sharp seven. You play it easy way, 
like this. And uh, during this part, uh, the whole time you have to play a melody starting on the 4 and leading to the 1 of the next chord. So it goes like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, The chords, uh, the chords of these parts are obviously A minor 7, G at 9, F sharp 7, B7, E9, and A13. Um, to play the, a melody uh, and a chord in the same time, you have to understand, and it's very easy, uh, that uh, the melody is um, very often under your chords when you play them. You play the chords. And it's the case in uh, this uh, in this bridge. So the melody goes like this, and it's uh, the scale of B minor, B minor, and uh, the melody leads to a B minor. So you can play it like this. Now you're on the B minor position, uh, you just have to uh, pull off this finger and uh, it leads to uh, E minor 9. Uh, then uh, the return to the B minor uh, we arrived um, we are we are now on the the, just the second A minor 9 and the melody goes like this to the D string and then we hum it and pulling off. Hammer, pulling off and second pulling off. And that melody leads to another E minor but in a normal way. Then uh, the next melody leads to an A minor, uh, A major. Very easy. So A G sharp G F sharp. That melody leads to uh, F sharp seven. And then again, uh, same system when we are on the F sharp seven, and it's a six eight. So one two three four five six. Um, so the melody, the, the last this, this melody leads to another melody, and this other melody ends the bridge and leads to another chorus. Okay. 
So, I do it again. And then, the last melody. Turn up, baby. <laughs>